It's not a Monday, but when it's modular, it's always a... Many of you have asked how much I've spent on modular so far. I don't want to tot it up because I don't want to get depressed. Has it earned its pay, or its keep rather? Um, not yet, but it will do. And uh, by that, I'm not saying from the colossal album sales I'm gonna have with the album that I'm making with it. No, I've put it to work for Spitfire, I think on four projects now. We've released one, Modular Pianos, and there's another few that are coming up that really feature the Frankensynth, both as a sound source, but also as a warper. And that's why we're here today. If you recall, video linked above and below, we've been producing the original felt piano, the one that made the soft piano, but in the hall. I'll show you later on where we're at with it. And actually later on, I've got something quite exciting to suggest. Today, Fifi, who's been geniusly post-producing this hall felt or felt 2020, he's coming up for us to do some additional content uh, warping the various piano signals. And so today we're gonna get all of the toys out and set up a multiple path warp basket weaved of warpiness. Warp days never feel like work days, but they're, there's something so gratifying about them because it's so much fun doing science experiments. And it's like the ultimate procrastination because you spend so long setting it up and then the actual action of making the warps is relatively quick. So basically, at the moment, I'm planning on six outputs from Frankensynth. I'm gonna get a couple of floor outputs, stereo, so that's 12, 14, 16. Um, I think I have 16. So I've gotta keep it down to 14 uh, things that aren't normal to the patch bay. I think I'm gonna get the Frankensynth wired in and do a line check uh, and then start building some pedals. So I've got all sorts of cameras running whilst I'm setting stuff up. This is Fifi, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Axe into the, what's that uh, chorus called? Dimension B. Problem is the test oscillator is too loud. That's what it is. The image of it, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah. We've got harmonizer in. I do this in the wonders of stereo. Clever, but I don't know how much use it is. <laughs> mm. Frequencies, you can just kind of scoop. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Actually, the tech needs a bit of top end taken off. Mm. I've just set up something on the also something on the timeline, the axe, the harmonizer, and the TC six hundred. Lovely. And then, because it's quite far out of my depth, I've just let no, no, I've, yes, I've let the beast be. Let, leave the beast be. And if you fancy doing any more than the three that we had initially, then I'll leave that in your hands. Okay, no problems. Uh, So we're doing octaves because part of the fun of sampling is pitching it down, isn't it? Yeah, really? exactly that. Um, it just sounds a lot more warmer when you're going top bits down as opposed to... You're making up. more sine wave shapes exactly, than... than exactly, exactly that. Appreciate your input, Oscar. <laughs> so much fun actually doing one of these sample libraries in plain sight. I hope you can hear me. The wind's just kind of basically blowing my vocals that way, so I'll project. So how's the piano kind of sounding at the current kind of alpha stage that we're at? Right. For operational reasons, 
I'm not allowed to show you the GUI as it currently stands because it's a special thingy, thingy, thingy. So we've got, got them currently split into these different mic types. So let's just have a listen to the full mix. So this is microphone one. It really is stunning. Mic two. So these are the very natural sounding mics. So the ambience getting further away. I'm usually not that fussed by a huge choice of mics, but I think on this library, it's going to be profound, really, the different effects you can get. So let's try a mix of the close, a little bit of the tree, dial back the gallery. Okay, let's switch to these boundary. I think these again sometimes can be superfluous to our needs, but not with this puppy. Six different mics. So this is mic number one, which is the boundary mic, which is the, the Stingray one, the one on the floor. It's a contact mic on the floor. It's got a kind of close signal that's picking up from the vibrations through the floor. It's recording the room around it, but it's missing the actual reflection on the floor, which is why it sounds like a combination of close and some kind of distant mic. got number two, which is the stereo. I think this is the Apollo. For mellow sound. And then this is number three, close ribbon. And then we've got the close ribbon pair. front condenser that's the kind of mic type I don't tend to usually like but I just think it's absolutely gorgeous I think close ribbon and that mic could be very interesting. Just equal amounts. Really kind of up front. Doesn't feel like it's in the hall at all. So I'm really delighted. I think we're very close. There's some responsivity work that we need to do working on that, that uh, 
terrible kind of fine line between really including the, you know, the very beginning of the note without it being kind of unplayably kind of rubbery feeling and not cutting too far into the note. If you see this video above and below, the one about why pianists play out of time, this explains this phenomenon. You'll often get a really responsive piano that won't sound realistic because it doesn't really have the true beginnings of the notes in them. Other than that, there's a kind of a thonk that I love, but on some microphones, I think it gets possibly, tiresome is the wrong word, but I just think sometimes you don't particularly want it. So I've been fiddling around with uh, high pass filters and it really does work to reduce that thunk in the higher register. So we're looking into a method that contact can kind of key follow. Last but definitely not least, we're struggling for a name. I was gonna throw it out to you. Could you possibly suggest some names? Put them in the comments down below. And if we pick one of yours, we'll naturally give you a free copy, which gives all the more value to subscribing if you haven't done already ding that bell if you want to be notified the next time I put a video up and one of those for Fifi's amazing efforts would be much appreciated look forward to seeing you next time bye